In this video tutorial, I wanted to go over the assets panel to give you an idea of what this is all about and how you can use it in your own Dreamweaver work. You can find the assets panel, of course, inside the files panel group, which uh, by default you should have here on the left hand side. And what you want to do is you want to click the assets tab here. Now the assets tab gives you a summary of all the assets, all the components of your websites. So for instance, here we're looking at images, then you have all the colors that we've used in the website. So this is basically a list of all the colors that I've used inside of killersites.com. Quite a few actually. It gives me all the links. So if I expand this a little bit, you see all the links here that are contained within killersites.com. Again, quite a few. We can also look at any flash objects that are floating around inside this site. Any uh, Shockwave stuff. Now Shockwave is uh, sort of like flash movies except they're made with Macromedia Director. So you're not going to see this too often because Director, well Adobe Director now, because Director is not really used too much these days. Any movies. Again, no movies. Any scripts, so we see we got a bunch of JS files. JS files, by the way, are files that contain scripts, things like JavaScript. Any templates, any library items. Now, we'll get into templates and library items later on, but these are components that you can insert into your web page that Dreamweaver uses to make web pages easier to manage. So let's go back to our uh, little icon here, the images, and we can see the images um, panel gives us a bunch of information about the image. We get the dimensions, the size and kilobytes, the type of image that it is. So we have GIFs. If I click here, we see we got P PNGs and JPEGs as well. So by clicking these buttons at the top, you can reset the order. So I click type, it resets the order in terms of the type of image. So now we have PNGs first followed by JPEGs to GIFs, and I click it again, then we start with GIFs, and so on. And same with dimensions, we can start with the smallest images, 13 by 13, and slowly grow to the larger images. Or we can flip it back. When we select an image, we see what it looks like here in the preview, and we can increase the size of the preview as well. So this is a good way to scan through your site, see what images you're using. And then from there, you can actually check to see where exactly these images are are in your website. So this is under full path, of course. So this could be a good way to uh, scan through your site, or you could just drag and drop images onto your web page if you happen to have a web page here. Without to finish up, having to type in demonstration in here of the assets tab here. What I'm going to do is create CSP. a page inside of my Dreamweaver subdirectory inside of killersites.com. So I do that by right clicking, selecting new file or Apple clicking with the on the Macintosh, of course. And then I'm just going to put in test.html because I'm just going to use this to test. So, so to launch it in our editor here, I just double click it. And we can see in the editor we have our test page. So what I want to do now is I want to drag a particular image found inside of our assets panel, this particular Dreamweaver image, I just want to drag it onto our web page. So all I have to do here, instead of digging for it, digging for this image using the uh, images button here, where I would have to start digging, looking around for it, which could be pretty uh, difficult in a larger site. All I have to do is find the image here, and I just drag it like so, and Dreamweaver will drop the image in place for me, finding it for me. So we'll get into adding images later, but we'll just leave everything blank for now. We'll just hit OK, and here's our image. So Dreamweaver Assets panel allows you to find various assets in your site, whether it be colors, images, links, flash movies, scripts, and so on allows you to find these things very easily so that you can easily insert them and organize them in your site. So this, for example, I was able to find this particular image and bring it into a web page without having to dig for it, 
through the usual means of adding an image, which uh, in this case would be using the images, select the image source button here. Another thing we can do is use the link assets. I selected it here and I selected the killersites.com slash sitemap.jsp link. And what we can do with the links asset subsection is actually drag and drop links onto our main page. So let's say I have an image and I want to create a link out of this image. All I have to do, instead of having to type it all out as you normally would in the properties inspector down here, where you would uh, select it and then you would put in your link information, all I have to do is go here into my link assets, grab the link, and just drag it over on top of my image. And if you look down here, you can see that it's dragged, it's actually, excuse me, attached this link to this image automatically, again, so we don't have to type in anything. The same thing can be done with text. So I will select these text links over here and I can just drag and drop it once again onto my text. And then my text gets linked without having to type in my link information in here. This is just a quick look at some of the useful functionalities found in the Assets panel in Dreamweaver CS3.